Hey, hey everybody, good morning, good morning. It's a beautiful, amazing day down here on the lake and I just wanted to come on this morning because I had a, uh, how should I say this? I slept in this morning a little bit. I slept in till five o'clock, my alarm went off at four and um, I did not start my morning ritual. So it caused me to think a little bit that, you know, as much as we try to have systems and try to have things in place and try to uh, change our paradigms, we all, we all slip sometimes. I didn't make the gym this morning and um, you know my day started off a little different than normal so the important thing is when we have something like that if you miss the gym if you uh, if you're on a diet and you screw up or if you're um, at work and you screw up whatever it is I mean we're human beings we're going to mess up we're going to make mistakes and um, the one thing I wanted to come on this morning to say is to, to not to beat yourself up about it right that's the biggest thing I have uh, so many clients that they they're trying to make um, you know, new goals, they're trying to get financial goals, they're trying to have physical fitness goals, and when they, when they falter or when they mess up, they spend a lot of time beating themselves up. You know, when they miss a goal or whatever it is, they, just, they, they spend time in the wrong direction. And what I did this morning, like I said, I ended up sleeping until five, and I got up and I said, you know what, um, I'm just gonna do a little workout at home, went for a quick little run, and I uh, did about uh, four to 500 push-ups, whatever it was, so I just got right back in the groove, right? But I didn't spend any time um, beating myself up about not getting up at four o'clock. I'm not a robot, you're not a robot. And I see a lot of people do this in business, they do this in, in life, they do this uh, in relationships, they do this with physical fitness. Whenever they mess up or they miss a goal, um, they'll spend energy and time uh, either feeling sorry or beating themselves up or really say, why'd I do that, you know? And I want you to think about that. Any, any time that you're spending beating yourself about something you did in the past, if you made a mistake, if you screwed up uh, on the job, whatever it is, if you make a mistake, you make a mistake. Right? The, the important thing is that we learn from it and then forgive and forget. I think people have the hardest time forgiving themselves. And they'll keep beating themselves up for the deal they missed or the, or the mistake they made or something they did in the past, it was alcohol or drugs or something that was in the past. And I just want to come on and really highlight what's going on. Every single second that you spend thinking about something in the past that you can't change or if you screwed up uh, is a waste of time and it's a waste of energy. But it's also going in the opposite direction of the transmutation of energy. right? So what I want to suggest that you do is only think about what you want. If you, if you make a mistake, just say it out loud. Let God let go. Uh, you know, let go and let God. And you know, what's the lesson? What's the value? You don't want to keep making a mistake. But then after that, don't beat yourself up again. Uh, human beings are the only creatures that we know of that have the ability to torture ourselves by reliving the past over and over and over again for mistakes that we've made. Uh, if you've wronged somebody, apologize and, and move on. Um, everybody's always doing the best that they can possibly do given their present level of awareness. I want you to think about that. Even a criminal is doing the best they possibly can given their level of awareness and programming. Uh, more than likely they grew up in an environment that was not conducive to prosperity and wealth. So everybody's always doing their best. Now what we want to do is, is shift our paradigm, change our programming so that our best becomes better. That's the difference. But I just wanted to come on and, uh, and say that because I screwed up this morning and I didn't make the gym, but I, like I said, I. I substituted, I went for a run, um, did a bunch of push-ups and, um, you know, salvaged the day. But I'm, I'm not going to spend any time uh, worried or, or thinking about the fact that I didn't make the gym at 5 a.m. like I normally do, uh, which is part of my process. So hopefully that helps, guys. And uh, I came on the other day, and I also I wanted to uh, revisit a little tool that I, that I share with people. And what that is, is any time that I find myself thinking in the wrong direction, I, just, I, I become aware of it and I stop. And then I asked myself, what do you want? I did it this morning on the way over to the lake. I just dropping off some stuff at the, at the new house here. And um, I, not I noticed myself in the, this morning, like I said, with the gym getting a little off. And I said, you know what? What do you want? And I just started reciting all the things that I'm looking for. And also gratitude. I mean, you know, we have this beautiful house. We have our health. We have running water. Uh, we live in America. There's just so much to be grateful for with our family and our health. So hopefully those things help you guys. Uh, make sure you don't spend time thinking in the wrong direction. Don't spend time beating yourselves up for the past. Just focus on the here and now and the future and learn from those life lessons. So hopefully that helps, guys. Make it an amazing day. It's absolutely gorgeous down here. I wish somebody was down here to go water skiing. <laughs> uh, have a great day. Be well and God bless.